to do this trendy 3D shapes, you first draw the shape that you'd want to do in the 3D. And so in our instance, we are doing a leaf. So we first drawn the leaf and then I have placed it on various layers of interfaces and we've cut them. And so having that, I've cut about six pieces of the interface. It has also been fused with a fabric as you can see here. And this is what I am arranging. This is how I want it to look like when I'm done. You draw lines as you can see here. Then we go in for our cotton bias. You place it on the lines you drew. Then we take this to our sewing machine and stitch them on, leaving a space in between, but then closing the top, that is the head of it, as you see here. We repeat same for the other bias that you placed on. After that, we're going in for our copper wire, which comes in different sizes. We would first want to make the tip blunt so that it doesn't pierce through the fabric. And then we push it through the lines that we had created in the bias. I'm done with all these ones. We'll go ahead and then cut another fabric to cover the unfinished side of the leaf. As you see here, so we'll go and then stitch the two together so that both the good and the bad sides all look the same. After you're done with this, you can go ahead and then add all the embellishments if you don't use rhinestones or whatever. But then after doing this, it gets it so structured, you can, you know, turn it, twist it to any design or shape you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching.